Yo, 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 what's up? All you AE players out there and uh, everybody else. Now, what's up, everybody? Um, welcome again to another video. This is another Eaton, another video, another look. And today we're going to be, uh, today we're going to be. So today I'm going to be doing a, just kind of, today I'm just going to be giving some tips and stuff. Um, like again, see, I'm not an expert player or anything like that. I've only been playing for, I haven't even been playing this game for a month. I haven't even been playing it for a month. But uh, I've put in a lot of hours. I've put in a lot of hours and, you know, a little bit of uh, investments or whatever you want. I don't even know. I don't even know. Look, my back scratcher. Let me get this thing going. But, um, oh my gosh. So, so good. Oh, look. Got these things from Amazon. These things are awesome. They have like a little claw on it. A little hook. And it extends. It goes like this. You know, really awesome. I got two of these. I forgot how much it cost, but it wasn't very expensive. Anyway, great little thing. Um, so just from my experience playing, and I just want to, you know, I like to give you the information that I get. Oh, this, this is just my experience of playing this uh, wonderful game here. So, um, um, so, and uh, what I've been doing, I got, like I said, I got two, uh, I got two, um, I play on the PC and then I also play on my mobile phone. So, and I kind of use the mobile phone as a testing to go through and test everything so I can, uh, you know, go through it and find out, you know, you know, do the trial and error. On the mobile and then come back on the PC to kind of perfect and then it works vice versa uh, so I, I believe I've been getting better at it and um, especially at putting together your teams and uh, finding out which characters um, uh, you know help support the other character and you know there's a lot of people out here who are doing uh, the tutorials and stuff like that I'm just another one just give you um, my opinion and stuff that I've learned so basically again so in the video we're going to be talking about uh, leveling up and um, we're also we're going to talk about leveling up and then we're going to do some um, what do you call it we're going to do some summoning we're going to summon some people we're going to summon I'm going to see if I can summon like uh... wait I'm Oh yeah, I'm gonna see if I have something like something like do like 50 summons today, like 50 summons. Do some summoning. So, um, like I said, I did a little stuff, little whatever, and um, no, I just did a little investing because you know. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, uh, I I spent spent a little bit of money or whatever. You know what I mean? I know some people just like, oh, why you spend money on the game? But most 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 times you know what i mean um you can get some benefits out of it you know what i mean to help you enjoy the game i mean that's just that's just part of it usually when you when you purchase a game anyway you already bought it so and then you got downloadable content so it's nothing crazy it's nothing out of the ordinary so but i did it a little bit so my goal is to try to summon like uh 50 do 50 summons and i'm just gonna do all at once and do that so also and then I made this chart here. I made this chart right here for leveling, and I'll just explain this chart. Oh, I hope you guys didn't see. Anyway, um, anyway, so I made this chart for um, for leveling. Uh, hold on, man. I'm trying to get my thoughts together, man. Cause a lot of stuff, not a lot of stuff going on, but I'm just trying. Whew, hold on. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm gonna get it together. I'm gonna get it together. Hold on. I'm gonna get it together. All right. Ah. All right. So this is gonna be fun. Let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, to show you guys what I'm doing here. So let's start up the game. And uh, I'm really excited about this game. Like I said, I'm still so excited about this game. I'm still very excited about this game. Um, very excited. Let's 
Get a little music going here. Game sound. And I kind of see, I can, I can really see kind of how now, um, it's like, this game is like, a, there's a lot of diff, there's so many different things you can do in this game in so many different ways. I mean, you could be, let's just say you just want to try to get the strongest character to be the strongest, you know, DPS and just maul through everybody. You can do that. You can also... Uh, there's so many different stories that they got so many different uh, There's so many different you know um, What do you want to call it? I haven't been back there in a minute. actually but these guys aren't far, but there's so many different uh, Characters that you can get so many different stories you can follow um, You know what I mean you maybe have a goal to get every character level or well, every, every every level 80, you know what I mean? But you know, not every level 80 is. What happened? That's that cat. Where did that nigga come from? In the person? I don't know how that cat comes out. Uh, but anyhow, so let's get to what we're doing. We're talking about here. Okay, so this my this my team right now. I have an um. This is my team right now, so I haven't, um, I haven't, I haven't, st I, I haven't started my leveling technique, right? So, um, or my leveling, leveling thing anyway, what I do level, what I did with my, um, my mobile, my mobile team, um, which there, I call them Aqua Team, Aqua Team, because it's a water-based team. Um, let me, uh, let me just share with you my water based team so you guys have an idea of what um what I'm working with on on the mobile here. Let me pull it up real quick. Oh my kids are going at it, huh? Hold on. My children are having a good time in there. Okay, so uh Hold on here, give me one second. Okay, so my water team right now um, is a uh, Primaya. Primaya. Now Primaya doesn't do any water, but she's just uh, she says there. Uh, Primaya, Molina, Molina does water too, but I believe she has another form that is actually stronger than the water form. Um, kind of like uh, Nagi. Um, I got Annabelle and then I got Nagi. Um, so in there, oh wait, hold on. Let me sh let me go back to this. Da -da 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 -da. Let me get my mouse on the right mouse. All right, so that's these guys right here. And um, they're at level, everybody's at level 60. Uh, except Nagi and uh, Melina, they're at level 68, 66, right? Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, go back. So, um, anyway, all right, so let's get to kind of what we're talking about here. Um, so, and I haven't figured out exactly kind of how I'm going to make this team. I'm thinking it's going to be an earth, wind, and fire team. Um, because Vienna. This girl's really freaking no, no. The Rihanna's win, so she's the win girl right here. She's a win, and then uh, Thylene, she's uh, she does earth and crystal dam or earth and uh, shadow magic. Does she do shadow magic? I forget which one she does. She does earth and shade. She didn't know she does fire and shade. She does fire and shade. Sorry, fire and shade. Uh, but she's really, really strong. She's very strong. She's like one of those characters that can, like, uh, she's like one, a one-hit character. She she builds up her stuff and she can one-hit. Uh, similar to, uh, similar to, similar to, I'll show you this chick right here. I think her name is, uh, whatever her name is. Let me find her real quick. Because I actually have her, but I don't have, 
I didn't even know I had her. I didn't realize I had her. Similar to Nagi. Nagi has like one hit abilities too in her other style, in the Chichuli style or whatever, right? And this is this is like her regular style. Uh, she's still level 80, the Octo Fighter, but she has like three different ones. You go to the ability where she's got like three different ones. She's got uh, the Octo Fighter, and she has um, the, the Tenemare, and I think the Tenemare could be strong. I don't know about the Tenemare. I'm pretty sure there's a video on there, but I don't know. And then she has this Chinchuli thing, this uh, Chichula. This one's very, very strong, very strong water water um, attacks. So she has three. But of course, and I'm starting to figure out what this stuff is. So these, this would be, if you get her other style, then you can actually change her style to a stronger form, to a stronger or weaker form. But this is her weaker form because she only does fire in this form. So hopefully I can get that water form and then uh, we'll have double one hit power. This girl too, Tuva, she has another style too. And I believe this is her weaker style as a Geomancer. Uh, she's a little 80. I was thinking about possibly using her. She has some earth stuff. She has earth magic and stuff like that. She does earth shit. So that be that was she would be my earth. But I don't know because she has another style. She's got this cursed bride style, which I don't know what does. And then uh, I think that's only it. I don't know. But I will have to see what kind of damage the other one does. It's probably still earth though. She's still because she's gonna be. It's probably still Earth. I don't know. Hopefully, I'll get her. Um, I was in the videos watching. There's a guy I need to get named Victor. Victor. I'm so, I need to get Victor because apparently Victor goes well with uh, Thyling, right? So um, I also got Radius here. She's kind of like uh, she's like my tank now. Well, she is the tank basically. So basically, the way that I play, uh, I tank her. And then do DPS with uh, these two girls. Actually, tank and DPS here. I don't have any healing. Um, I got Yiffa in here here too. Yiffa's good for uh, healing. She's good support character too. She's level. She's not. I think she can be level 80 as well. Um, yeah, she has to be on more. So, um, whatever. Um, we gotta try to get there. What are her skills again? I'm just kind of go. I forgot. Cause I haven't played with this one in in a. Not recently, so I can't remember what they do. Oh yeah, so she's got some healing stuff, some regans. She's got some uh, some power, intelligence, uh, uh, debuffs for the enemy, and then she got some buffs as well. Um, okay, so she she's she's decent. You know what I mean? She's She's good for like a support type character. Um, not much attack power. Well, not much power, but but she's only 46 anyway. So I got Yiffa here too, and uh, so this is the power. I think I have another one too. What's this other one? Party two. Okay. Yeah. Why did I have it like this? I don't know. Cause I didn't realize how what Thailand was. Anyway, I put Nagi here and Tuva and Thelian and Vita. So it's kind of like this, but I don't know. But anyway, so again, let me try to get to the point that I was trying to make. Okay, so right now, um, these guys are level where well, they are. So I, fi I, fi I figured out, uh, so what I figured out anyway, just on my own, is um, this uh, leveling thing, right? So the leveling thing, the leveling thing is pretty awesome because there is a way that you can level up uh, fairly quickly. If you're willing to do a little uh, grinding or whatever, but it doesn't, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not actually very effective. So, um, first of all, what you uh, need to do, of course, if you have got to this point, you may have started to get, um, what I did, when I show you my last video, if you go to the old man in, uh, in Barrios or whatever, um, or whatever name of the city, I'll show you again in this video. You go there, you you do uh, some training with him. He'll give you some badges, some experience badges, right? So once you get those badges, you know you go here, you go to your badges, you go click badge, 
and it, right here you get experience badges right and this will give you you know of course extra experience upon you know which you're already getting right so you want to have those on before you go here and then um so after you get those on the characters that you want um you go here to the door and you go right here to the sealed realm the sealed realm sealed realm right here the sealed realm you go to the sealed realm you run the the this one right here the uh the tts the transitory time space suggested level 25 uh which is probably about right uh but once you get here you should be like around that level anyway a little bit higher now it's going to cost you a green key to get in um i started i don't know i guess you start with nine but if you don't have any green keys it only costs you 20 chrono stones to buy a green key which is not bad right so um now say why it's not bad in a moment um you have to before you get to this part, I mean level 70 or 60 or whatever this is, I don't know. Sorry. So they got two other levels, 60 and 75, right? So 75 is the highest you can go. Um, you got to complete this, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So that's what my next goal is to do that. But because basically it's going to give you the most experience you can get. This is like the best way to get experience um, besides using the, uh, the, um, what do you call them? The experience things. Whatever. I'll get back to that. But anyway, so you go to the sealed room, run it, and I'll explain that sealed room in a minute. I just want to see what was uh, what were these things called. Um, okay, the memoirs? No. Uh, what is it? Badges. It's not badges, is it? No, sorry. Uh, the hell were they looking at? They are uh, enhanced items. Okay, the enhanced items of uh, low class scrolls and medium class. Because the scrolls will help you get experience too, but um, you, you're gonna have to. Uh, those, those like being grind out. So um, another thing that I would do, like if you start the game, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because the, the high scrolls will come but anyway like I said so this is what we do right so you go there to the transitory time thing and I'm just gonna read off my uh, I'm gonna read off my um, I'm gonna read off my uh, let me read I'm gonna read off my uh, my thing here so uh, so basically I love saying basically huh? Alright, so basically, this is kind of how I broke it down. Uh, so on the hard level, and once I get to the other levels, I'll break this down too. So, it goes like there's a total of, um, you have a total of 12 encounters in there, right? There's 12 encounters. So basically, you just run around there, and there's only 12 encounters that you'll have. Two of them will be uh, horrors, and um, actually, actually, I think, well, yeah. There's a total of twelve encounters. Two of them will be horrors, and one is the boss. One is the boss fight, and the rest are okay. Let me look at this because I got it. okay. Yeah, so there's two horrors, one boss. And then you have um, three encounters with four mobs, with mobs of four. You got three encounters with, four, four, with mobs of four. And then you have six encounters with mobs of three. Okay? So uh, that's six plus three is nine, plus two is 11, plus one is 12. So there's 12 encounters in this thing, right? And I think it's the same for each level. I think I saw a guy running it too. Now the great thing about this is um, you get really good experience again. So um, for each monster, for each monster, you get a total of uh, twenty thousand one hundred and forty experience points. Twenty thousand one hundred and forty. 
So, but there's, and there's a total of 30 monsters. So, um, after completing, so there's 604, 604,000, 604,000 experience points. Um, for the uh, horrors, the, each of the horrors give you 111, 840 experience points. And there's two of them, so the total of 223,680. And then the one boss will give you 96,120. I'm sorry, did I say 120? 96,120 experience points, right? So after each run, you will get a total of 924,000 experience points, okay? So, um, that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. Especially, say, let's look here. Okay, that's quite a lot. I'm trying to find somebody who just started. She's almost there. Maybe I'll find somebody brand new. Alright, let me go back. But anyway, like I said, so after one run, she her level's gonna her level's gonna go up. Her level's gonna go up like to forty seven and a half after one after one thing, right? So um, after one run. So that's almost like using a high class scroll. It's almost like using a high class scroll. Let me see. I just wanna see somebody who's like low level. Let's see. See what her status is. No, no, no. Oh. Status. Okay, look. She just started, right? So she's got. Oh, why am I pointing? <laughs> Sorry. Let me point with the. Oh. You guys can't see what I'm doing. My bad. Let me go back. Alright. I'm tripping. Anyway. So, but this one, this one I want to show you though. So this. So she's at level 9. So if you're going to get 900. 900. 24,000 experience points. She's obviously going to go up a whole bunch, right? After one run. I think after one run, it's like you go like to level 25 or something like that. Or it's level 15. I don't know. It just jumps really fast, right? Um, it just jumps really fast. So, like I said, where uh, Yiffa was. So, one, one time, I run her once through there. She's going to get go like to 47 and a half. If I run another run, she's going to be 48. So after two runs, you're already like level 48. You do, you, 48. And then um, the kicker is you have uh, the experience boost points, right? So if you're using a 5% boost, you will get 90, uh, 970,000 experience points for one run. 10% experience boost, you get 1 million. 16,400 okay um, if you're doing 15% uh, you get 15% um, you'll get 1,062,600 experience points and if you do 20% you get 1,108,800 108, experience points right and that's crazy so it's just like every time you run it, you're gonna be crushing the experience. So and the thing and think about like I think about like in, in forms of ten. Like if I run it ten times, if I run it ten times, that's um that's nine million. If I run it ten times, that's nine million two hundred Yeah, that's nine that's nine million. That's nine million nine hundred nine million um two hundred forty thousand hit points every time I mean not every time but that's, if I run it 10 times and so like I did it I did it with my other group and I went from like level I think I was at level 50 or something like that level 50 51 maybe the highest was like 55 and after I was done running it 10 times it was like we almost went 10 levels up and it's a crazy it's a major difference maybe it took me about and uh, maybe like 45 minutes to an hour to run because your your team will get stronger and stronger and it gets to the point where it makes it easier for you just to go through and you know take people out and then once I had the lower levels in there I put the 20% on them after one run they're like level 25 
Um, and that's how I leveled all my guys up. But that's how I've been doing the leveling. And like I said, if you don't have any green tickets, it'll cost you uh, 20 crown stones. So if you don't have any crown stones, the most it'll cost you is 200 to run it 10 times, which is not bad at all. Not bad. But that's a that's a good way to... Um, that's a great way to do some leveling, man. Great way to do some leveling. Great way to do some leveling. Okay, so um, I just wanted to explain that. I try not to make the videos too long, but um, uh, hey, it is what it is. So now we're going to, uh, man, and I was so like, I was so excited about it. It's like, man, now I can level. And it just, now I know how to level. But the experience points is going to get better and better when you get to like level 75. And, um, like I said, I'll do a video on that too because I'm curious about the numbers as well. But that was really an eye opener for me. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this group right now. But I'm I'm thinking I'm probably gonna run it like 30 times. I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if I do it like three times. I'm just gonna grind it out. Go 30. Go 10. Take a break. 10. Take a break. 10. Take a break. Run it like 30. Run it like 30 times, and see how high I can get my team before I go uh, to I move on. Because the whole thing about this game too also is you have to get to level 25. You have, I mean, you have to complete chapter 25 in order to um, get to unlock some of these skills that um, some of these abilities, I mean, that your team has. Uh, I can't get past this one until I do this one, but I got to clear the quest to fill the void of your heart, right? So, and I think that's that is the quest after the first quest because they all have a quest right because I want to get this skill up um, it's pretty much the same skill that they ha that she has it's just it does more damage basically it's the same skill this is sword of fire it's the same skill as um, berserk rush right fire type slash attack it gives you just a little bit more you get fire shot on all enemies extra large uh, power of all enemies minus 20 so it's 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 a bigger thing but uh, uh, it helps though trust me like the small percentages the little percentages that they do they help a lot they really make make this game anyway so um yeah but I have to do a quest so the first quest I gotta do this quest right that's the first quest this is like the small one once you do this quest then the quest to unlock the other skill opens up but you have to be you have to complete level chapter 25. So uh, my goal, my thing is I'm going to get all my guys where I need them to get, get my teams. And then I'm going to uh, move on, march on to finish chapter 25 so I can unlock all the skills. And on the way, um, uh, see what we can do about getting all this other stuff. Now, one thing I did forgot to mention about when you go to, uh, when you go here, another benefit of, of doing this one as well. Let me go back to it, which I forgot to mention. Um, another benefit of going to the sealed realm, you're also gonna get, um, you're also gonna get badges. They're gonna give you badges for completing the uh, each done each time, and a lot of times you'll get experience badges. Most of the time you'll get experience badges. You get some different ones, um, but you know what I mean. On my other team, I got I got like six, six or seven twenty percent experience badges, so that helps as well. Cause you can just add that on, um, to get quite, to get more experience, and it, it really helps. Also, sometimes you get the white keys as well. I mean, if I run it ten times, I expect to get the white key at least once, maybe twice, and that's another um, way that to help you get uh, you know more items and stuff like that. Now. The, the white box is kind of like crazy. The white key is crazy because it's it's all random. It's all random. I thought it was uh, like a certain thing you got to do, but it's all random. It's all random, man. So, but anyway, so let's get to this thing so I won't keep you guys waiting too long. And see what we get. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. So I got 5,000 here. And we're going to, uh, I was going to do the regular, but I'm not going to do the regular. All this one I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to do this one. So this one you get three times max, paid five-star guaranteed. There's a one-time only here for paid five-star guaranteed. These are a 1,000. 
So if I do oh, this crap come up. I was waiting for it. But it won't be there for long, nigga. Okay, don't. Alright. So um so that's four thousand right there. And I'm gonna do an actually I think there's another one here that's a one time only. Yeah, there's a one time only here. But one of these is supposed to give you I'm trying to see who it was. So this one right here is a regular one. I'm gonna hit this one too. So I made that's why I think I made I made you sixty today, I don't know. But I don't know if I wanna do this yet because I only got seven hundred after the five I only have uh I only have 1700 then if I do a thousand I'll have 720 and these things are they're tough to come by especially uh I mean they come but but also it's cool too once you once you do this you get actually for each um, character you bring in you get 10 carnal stones so they try to give you a little bit back which uh, I really like about the game it's really friendly that way uh, this was one time only maybe something like this I don't know another style uh, I have to see anyway let's get to it there's another one so let's do this one first we're gonna do this one first this is uh okay here we go it's a thousand okay see what we get guys <laughs> Yeah, I think I got him already. Last year, I think I got her already. Archer, he's new. Lancer, he's new. Okay. Shaman. He's new. We're waiting for this five star baby with the five star Wushu Master. Okay, so her class changed. So that means she could be probably a level sixty now. But she's a four star. Knight. He's new. Martial Arts, Rufus. I haven't got a goal yet. What the hell? Lancer. Oh, they tripping today? Proud Beast. Who's this guy? Lokito. I don't know who this guy is. He looks strong though. He looks like he's cool. He's got this, he's a five star. I don't know. Huh. I don't know why they put this in here. Because I don't, sometimes I don't, I don't, like, don't want to go through this. I just want to like, okay, I got them. I guess, you know, they want to talk. So this Lokito guy, don't know who he is. We'll definitely check him out. He looks cool as hell though. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, let's go. He's a martial artist though, so he looks cool as hell. Alright, so we get that one. Let's go right into it. Let's go right into it. But we're looking to get Victor. We want to get Victor and the uh, the Chinchilla. Other one. But if we don't, you know what I mean, we'll accommodate the Chinchula. We'll definitely accommodate. Because there's many different ways you can accommodate in this game with the characters that you get. But definitely having four stars. Four stars is great. Five stars is better. Just depending on what the five star is. But you can uh, 
But now that you can level up Earth Earth Mage, ooh. Chiro. She the Earth Mage? See she might go well with the with that necromancer chick. Earth team. Alright. No. I wanna see the golden stuff, man. That's why I wanna see golden. Warlock. Myris. I heard of her before. Silver. Druid. Palm. So now she's a druid. Soldier. Myron. I think I have her on the other team. Archer. There it is. Let's see what we got. Waiting for this gold. Oh, yes. Got her. That's definitely what I wanted. So her, she got a new style. So this is good. She's good. Uh, she's good. Myris may be good too. I'm not sure. But I know her. Maybe that Lokito guy. Uh, and then this Chiru. Chiru too. Because I'm thinking about... I want to make an Earth team because I have um, the Necromancer girl. And um, there's somebody else too. I had like a necromancer girl and another girl that was the earth or something like that. But anyway, let's get through this. <laughs> That's funny. She said you smell good. I'm Meron. Meron. I'm Meron. I prefer not. There's something about you. You're kind of a strange one. How about it? She's a warrior, right? Like uh Wonder Woman. Okay. So we hit that one. Let's, hit, let's do it again, baby. So we got the Chichula girl. That's good. Happy about that. Cause that just opened up a whole another freaking thing too as well. Samurai, the cane. That's good. I might be able to make a samurai team as well. Like a samurai team. Like I could make like a like a ninja team. You know what I mean? Like it's so cool. Cause I got, I got samurai. I got two samurais now. And then the fist guy, he can be part of that. Like ninjas and stuff like that. Berserker, Denny. No, I don't like you, Denny. Samurai team. Answer. No. Samurai. Knight. Brino. Yeah, I use Brino. He's okay. He's a good starting character, though. An elven knight. Uh, she does earth stuff, too, I think. She could be part of the earth team. <laughs> right. He's a good healer. He's a good healer. He's a good healer. I use him in my other group. He's a good healer. Miranda. He's a good healer. Prey is a decent healer. Oh, yes. What do we got now? I still want to get this Victor guy, though. Judgment. Rosetta. I don't know who she is. I don't know anything about Rosetta, but we're gonna find out. That wasn't bad. An honor to Let's see what Rosetta says, who she is, I don't know. I may be inexperienced. Yeah, shit. Sure. So I know I'm gonna make a samurai team now. So I got two samurai and the ninja guy. I just gotta figure out who else we can add to that group. Uh, maybe like a, uh, Rosetta, an inquisitor in the order of the Western lands. She's an inquisitor, eh? Necessary. I can find all kinds of hidden sin. Ah, that's interesting. She can. Okay. We got two more. Uh, oh no. What the hell? That's faithful encounter? Maybe I do one of these other ones here. 
Let me see. Because those are the same. This is the Black Friday. The Chosen Ones. Future. Extra Style is this regular one. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Because I'm going to get some... Uh, I'm going to get some uh, Chrono Stones back, so we're going to go ahead and try this one, too. Because uh, this is the free ones. These are the ones that you earn. So let's go ahead and hit this one before I decide which other ones I want to do. So there's supposedly no guarantee five-star in this one, but usually um, they usually give you some good. So Ranger. She's new. Ranger. Another Ranger. Battle Mace. Soldier. My you. She looks to be pretty strong. She can be a level 80. A level 80 soldier? She could go with the samurai group as well. Two samurai, a guy, and a soldier? That sounds pretty good. I like that. Call him Team Fate. Yeah, Team Fate. The Monk might be go good in there too as backup. Maybe put him in there. This Team Fate, man. I'm making teams already. Archer. Team Fate, baby. That'd be like Team Four. Diviner. I don't know what that is. Sniper. Okay. Yeah. I could have a sniper team too. This guy, him, and her. They could be the sniper team. I might just put that together too. Because they, they all have bows and arrows and shit like that, so. I might put that together too. Just, you know, something to try, and you know, later on. So I have a ninja, ninja, ninja feet, <laughs> uh, a ninja team. Call them Team Fate. The sniper team. I'll call them uh, uh, sniper team. I'll probably call them Team ATL. Sniping dudes, Team ATL. Team ATL. Okay, so I got two more left. Uh, two more left. So I want to do this one again. I want to do one of these. This is special winter 2021. Black Friday 2021. Twin Destinies. You get more details so you can see. Well, it tells you here who who's primarily going to be in there. I still haven't got the Victor, Ifa, Thylene, Abyssal, Liberator. They got Victor in this one. Victor is supposed to be in this one. So, uh, the Twin Destiny. So, we're going to give this one a go. And then I go back to the other fake, the other counter thing. What the hell is this? Oh. oh, see, Leo, she's a ranger. I thought I had, no, I think I got her in the other one. Another Lancer. No, she's no. A Bard? For Zizika? She looks like she's gotta be water, of course. Another Sniper, for <laughs> real. So my Sniper team's looking good, Team ATL. Can some build up on it? Pugilist. It's another Ranger, man. They love Team Sniper. Oh, let's see what we got here. I love the goals. The goals make you feel like, oh yeah, you're doing something, baby. Oh shit, Annabelle. I have Annabelle with my other team. 
She's good. Annabelle's good. She does some good defense. She goes, she's really good too. She's good to have in the group. And she's a divine paladin already, which is what I already have. So I know how to use her. She's very good. She's very good. Oh shit. We got the Ten of Marie. Oh. Awesome. I have all styles of Nagi now. All styles of Nagi. I don't know what the Ten of Marie does. Plus she's increased, like she's like 16. She's like 32. She's gonna be bad. So Pizzica, oh Pizzica can be in the sniper group already, I already know. She's gonna be part of the ATL group. I'm not even gonna mess, put her in another group. She's gonna be with the sniper ATL group. Right, Pizzica. Seal has a boat too. She can be in there as well. I'm gonna put all my boat people in together. Yeah. Who's this? Huh? Paper. Oh yeah, you can go. Yes, we got the oh we got Nagi. We got Nagi Nagi. And I still got one more. Okay, shut up, bro. So I'ma spend a I'ma spend some time freaking getting my team together. This is Water Girl. I don't know what she does, but I'm gonna find out what she does. I don't know what group she can go in. Oh yeah? Okay, nigga. But obviously she's water. She's gotta be water. Where she would go good with the Chintula Nagi as well. So I can have like another water team or something like that as well. I don't know. <laughs> and Annabelle, she's 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 Annabelle's good, but she's a divine paladin. I don't think I have the divine paladin in my other one. I don't know. Let me check real quick. Let me see if I have divine paladin on her. Yeah, I do have Divine Paladin, but she looks different in this one, in mine. She don't look like that. That must be a different style. Because my Annabelle doesn't look like... It looks... She looks like that, but the character... Let me see. I'm just curious. One, one second, guys. One second. I don't want to watch her now. Yeah. She's different. This is a different Annabelle. I don't know which. This is the Divine Paladin Annabelle. Maybe not the Annabelle. Because my Annabelle looks different. Uh, let me see again here. Which Annabelle do I have? I have the Divine Paladin Annabelle. Unless she's just a Paladin and a Divine. I don't know. We'll find out. But her, her dress style is different. So, I don't know what, I guess she would have the same ones, but I don't know. All right, we got one more time, baby. Uh, we did one of these already. I got held, but those are free, so we're definitely going to use our paid ones. We're going to hit this again. One more time, baby. One more time. Necromancer? Necromancer Earth, so he can be part of the Earth group too. Samurai? Nah, I don't know if he can be part of Samurai group. He could be he could be. Robot Samurai. On the end. What is she? I don't know. She could be part of the bow group. She has a bow. I don't know. Interesting. Knight. Yeah, I got her. Okay, Raven. He's a necromancer. Very 
probably part of the Earth group. I'll probably call the Earth group Earth Gang. That's what I'll probably call them. Earth Gang. You know, that's a music group for real. Oh, yes. What we got here? Oh, Abyssal. I already have her. Yes. I already have her, but she's stronger. That's good. She got plus 16. That's going to make her stronger. Oh, Lovino's got a bow and arrow too. Oh, Team uh, Team ATL's gonna be vicious, boy. They're gonna be vicious. Team ATL's gonna be very vicious. All right, so that's all I got now, guys. I just got 50 guys, so I should get 500. 500 of those little points things. What are the things? So I don't have any more. All my pays is gone. So I think it paid off. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm satisfied. Um, I'll probably do more later when, um, when it's the right time. Um, but, blah, 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 blah. but I still got 720. But after this, I should have uh, 500 more because they give you 10 for each one. So let's let's just verify that real quick before we get off. Uh, yeah, another style, okay, so that's what they're saying. And XP gauge and stuff like that. And this is just a different thing. When you get to another style, when you get to another style character, they tell you about it. So it's just saying extra style is a new character, style that changes the character's equipable weapons and armor. In this style, not only do the character's ability boards and skills change, but also their special attacks. Characters can switch into extra style via encounters or by uh, initiating a class change right so I guess whoever anyway in order to activate the EX special attack first fill up your another force gate to a maximum then activate another force and use skills or attacks repeatedly to fill up the EX gates completely the higher the EX level the easier it is to fill up the EX gauge the EX level increases by one by one turn each turn note that EX gauge will be hidden when another force is not available right and basically all the EX um, all the EX special attack is it's like once you're finished because if you know you've done another force before, once you do it, two of your guys come together to attack. So when you get the EX, when you get the um, the uh, the, uh, the EX level, or whatever. I think is I, I don't know, but I'm thinking if you only have one person that you're using the another force EX, then they will do their EX special power, right? But if you uh, I wonder if you have two in there. I don't know. I don't know. So they're adding everybody in. So we can go here and look at. So we got 24 records here. We receive them all. So we got we got some chronostone there, right? I didn't count them all, but there's. So we've received those. Let's go back out and see. Uh, okay, see there we go. Actually, I didn't get 500. I got 240 Chrono Stones. So they like I said, they give you 10 for each person you get, which is, well, supposedly, I was supposed to get 10. Maybe you get 10 for, um, I don't know. I'm not sure. They're still coming in, though. So, um, that's it, man. Um, that is it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So, um, thank guys for, uh, I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. I know it's been like an hour video, but, uh, that was very exciting for me. I'm very happy. And I just got to sit down and take some time now to figure out my teams, put some people where they go before I go on my experience runs. Um, cause I'm going to basically, I want to get my main team together, figure out how I'm going to get them together. 
what I got to do, and then I'm going to put them in the experience group and then level those guys up um, as much as I can. So I'll spend a lot of time, but I'm pretty much just going to probably level up my main my main group um, to get through the story because um, that's my whole goal is to, to level up to get through the story. Once I get through the story, I'll come back and do some other stuff with my other teams and stuff like that just to see. Um, that's the cool thing about this game. So I'm going to put my teams together and get all that stuff, and uh, that's it. Uh, but thank you all for watching. And um, this has been another Eaton, another video, another look. Your boy, the Swarthy One. Am I the Swarthy One? No, sorry. That's on a different channel. Okay, this has been another Eaton, another video, another look. By your boy, Bishop Down. All right, I'm out. Deuces.